Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for that wonderful word. Amen. Praise him. We're going to go to Mrs. Mr. Sam, which is Acts 3 and 12, page 1578. 1578. Marcia. 1578. Thank you for, for your love, your mercy, and your grace. Thank you for letting us be here. Thank you for letting us do another uh, video. We thank you for this day. Thank you again for keeping us safe and sound in your bosom. Thank you for letting us hear your word, hear your voice, and know you. Thank you for you taking such wonderful care of us and the healing work that you have been doing on us. We thank you. Oh, we have so much to thank you for. We thank you for all the viewers. Thank you for all uh, people. We just thank you. And we want to give you the praise. And we want to glorify your name. Thank you for the word that just come. Amen. Lift up your heads, O oh, you gates. We thank you. Oh, we just give you the praise. Help us to lift up our heads unto you. From which comes our help. Help us to live a Kadash life. We ask you to let us decrease right now. And let us decrease at all times. Let your holy react, your Kadash react, increasing us at all times. Thank you, Lord, that you just take over us. Yes. In the Kadash name, we sure how much said, we do say, Amen. Amen. Thank y'all. I just want to give everybody the thanks, give you thanks for letting us be here again. It was a wonderful thing to be here. We are in Acts or Messiah 3 and 12. And this is just right after Kiefer had uh, healed uh, the man, the lame man, amen. And they were up there on the porch of Solomon and the people were rushing up to him, trying to make him God thinking that they had did all this mighty work by their own hands and people was letting them know that it wasn't just them that did this. It wasn't by their power that they that the lame man was walking. Hallelujah. But it was by the power of Yahuwah, or Yahusha, that the lame man was walking. And see, a lot of people get into their heads and get into their mind that it's them that's doing all the wonderful works and doing all the miracles. But we have to understand that we can do nothing on. on our own. Hallelujah. You know, it's, it's going to take you who to do anything. Yes, yes. We can't even uh, uh, get up on our own. We can't even take the next breath on our own. Hallelujah. It takes the hood to be to, uh, to give it to us. And yes. He has to want to give it to us in order for us to have it. Yes, Don't care who we are, what we done did, or who we think we are. Amen. We cannot do anything. And when we have no need, where we have no uh, rights to brag or to boast about, you know, we did this and we did such things. We can't do a thing about you who it is. It's you who it is does these things. Amen. Amen. And I want to give honor to Yahuwah Hamaseh, who is my life. I want to give honor to my Ishaw, the Apostle Perry Ghostin. I thank, I thank Yahuwah for her, because uh, I'm a Baruch man, has such a wonderful woman by my side. And I thank Yahuwah for her. Me and my phone. Thank you, Yahuwah. 3 and 12. He says, And when Kepha saw it, he answered unto the people, You men of Yazrael, why marvel you at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or kadoshness we have made this man to walk? He would let them know that if not by his own power, by his power, he made them this man to walk. No, no. See, he would let them know where he would give them credit and he would give them honor unto Elohim. Amen. He allowed this man to walk. To walk. Uh huh. 
He, he said, hey, get your eyes off of me, because I'm just, uh, hey, really what he was saying, get your eyes off of me, because I'm a man, I'm just, a person, I'm a human, just like you. Yes. I'm not an entity, I'm not a deity, I'm not a God, I'm not an Elohim, I'm none of these things. I'm just a man, but I'm Elohim to what use me. Mm -hmm. And that's what we all have to understand. I don't care if it's preaching, teaching, healing, or whatever gifts that Yahuwah has allowed us to have, we got to understand that it's by His power and by His grace that we're able to do anything. Amen. And it's Him that does these yes, things. It is. It's not we ourselves. No. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, number 13, The Elohim of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the Elohim of our father, has glorified his son, Yahushua, whom you delivered up and denied him in the presence okay. of Pilate, mm -hmm. when he was determined to let him go. He let him know that, what? If you killed the Savior. Yes. You, you, you destroyed him. Well, you didn't destroy him, but you killed him. He probably wanted to let him go because he was innocent, knew that he had he didn't want the blood of an a innocent man on his hand, but you decided that you wanted to go ahead on and kill him because you're evil and wicked hearts. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing that people want to do now. They want to try to destroy the Savior because they don't want to live by his words. They don't want to live by the They don't want to live by the truth. Amen. They want to go ahead on and do the evil and wickedness that's in their heart. They want to obey Satan. Mm -hmm. They want to obey the evil one, mm -hmm. the wicked one, and they don't want to obey Torah or Elohim. Amen. They don't want to obey Yahushua. So true. That's the way this world is now. Even the ones that say that they have us uh, then their so-called churches and their so-called synagogues, they don't want to obey what Torah says. The assemblies of Yahushua are now, he wouldn't recognize them if he went and walked through most of them. Because you got so many different things going on that are not like Yahushua. The word is not being preached, it's not being taught, nor is it being lived. And Yahushua is angry with them. He's angry with these leaders, so-called leaders of the churches. Because they won't stick with what Torah. They don't go line by line or precept by precept. If they have a group of people that want to be lesbians or homosexuals, they say, okay, then it's all right. If they got people that want to be whores and whore monks, they say, okay, that's be all right. Just bring your tithes, bring your money in, and whatever you want to be, we'll go ahead on, we'll, we'll accept that. And we're, gonna, we're not going to call it a sin. But I'm here to tell you that whatever Yahushua, whatever Yahuwah has called sin, it is a sin. It was a sin then, it's a sin now. It has not changed. Amen. Amen. If he did not say that he changed it, it has not changed. And we had to go line by line and precept upon precept in this Kadash word. The word is right. See, people don't go to the synagogues or to the uh, assemblies to get their lives changed anymore. They want their lives to, uh, or, or they want to live a life and they want the word to go up there and line up their life. They change the word to line up their life. Instead of the word changing them, they want to change the word. Can't do it. And that cannot be done. Amen. And make it into the kingdom. It's what the word says. See, we have to make that change. Thank you, Yahuwah. Amen. He says, number uh, 15, excuse me, number 14, but ye denied the Kadash one and the just and desired a murder to be granted unto you and killed the prince of life whom Elohim has raised from the dead. Well, we are witnesses. He said, let him know. We are witnesses that Yahushua was raised from the dead. Amen. That he's no longer in the grave. That after three days he got up. Yes. And he's risen. And that he's sitting on the right hand 
of Elohim. Hallelujah. Of Yahuwah. Amen. He says, and his name, through faith, in his name has made this man strong, whom you see. And now, and no year, the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And let him know that you have to have faith. Yes. Not just speaking the word, but we got to have faith that, hey, you can be risen, that you can be healed. Hallelujah. We have to have the faith. Yes, sir. That when we speak the word, that it shall come to pass. And here we got to believe, at least believe that it can be done. Amen. That it can be done. Not in our power, but by the power of Yahushua Hamaseh. Yes, Father. By the power of Elohim. Yahuwah Elohim. By his power, that these things can be done. Hallelujah. So that when we speak something, we speak it in what? Faith. Faith. And not in fear. Because we do not have the spirit of, of fear. fear. We have the spirit of power, of strength, and of glory. And of sound mind. And of sound mind. This is what we walk in. This is what we must live in. And yes. so day by day, when we wake up, we've got to walk, walk, walk in faith. Yes. Walk in trusting your hood. Believing and trusting and loving Him. For we serve a mighty, mighty Elohim. We don't serve a weak Elohim. Amen. We don't serve an Elohim that is a figment of our imagination. No, no. We don't serve an Elohim that is made by our hands. Mm -hmm. We don't serve that. Amen. Uh-uh. We serve an Elohim that made us, that created us. Yes. And all things in within this earth. Yes, yes. yes. He's all powerful, all magnificent. Yes, he is. An awesome Elohim that we serve. Oh, yeah. He says, number 17. And now, brethren, I know that through ignorance you did it as did also your rulers. But those things which Elohim before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Messiah should suffer, he had so fulfilled. And he let him know that the scripture had been fulfilled up to that point. Yes. That the Messiah had to what, suffer. Suffer. That the people were going to kill him. Mm -hmm. He had to die a certain way. And the scriptures were, were fulfilled. And they let know that they were fulfilled. And this is how this miracle was being performed. He says, excuse me, Repent ye therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out, when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahuwah. He said, Repent. And we're crying out now for people to what? Repent. Repent, repent of all sins. Repent of all your wickedness. Because you who is soon return. And we can't be walking in sin. We should not be found walking in sin. Walking in the lusts. Walking in uh, fornication. Walking in adultery. Walking in homosexuality. Walking in wickedness. And walking in evil. Talking about that you saved. Talking about that you've been delivered. That's what so. have you been delivered from? What are you saved from? Mm -hmm. You're not saved according to... Torah, you're not saved, you have not been delivered according to Torah because you're still in that mess, you're still in that garbage. See, when we get delivered, we come out of the garbage, we come out of the filth, we're being Show cleansed, we're up. being purged. We don't no longer walk the way that we used to walk. No, sir. We don't walk in the way that the world walks. Mm -mm. We don't even talk the way that the world talks. No, sir. We come out of it, we're being cleansed, we're being purged. Oh, yeah. Out of sin. Thank you. Out of wickedness. We don't want to walk that way no longer. No, sir. Can't afford to. Mm -mm. So repent means that we got to be duly sorry for the things, for the sins, for the weakness that we have performed against our Elohim, Yahuwah Elohim, and Yahuwah Shahama <laughs> said. That we no longer want to do these things. Mm -mm. And we won't do them. And we're not going to do them again. By his power, by his grace. Thank you. He says, number 20, And he shall send Yahushua Hamaseah, which before was preached unto you, 
whom the Shemayans must receive. And when I say Shemayan, I'm talking about the heavens. I say Shemayan is the heavens. You know it's heavens. Must receive until the time of restoration of all things, which Elohim has spoken by the mouth of all his Kadash prophets since the world began. For Moshe truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall Yahuwah Elohim raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall you hear in what in all things. Whatsoever he shall say unto you, and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the, the people. people. See? Amen. In other words, now, if you take this Torah and hear this word, and you don't go by, if we don't go by what Torah says, if we don't live the word according to Torah, then we shall be destroyed. You can go around about, you want to change the word if you want to, you want to change the Shabbat if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. But remember, it's going to cost you your soul. Amen. It's a price to pay. Yes, it is. You will be destroyed. Amen. Because we must obey this word just as he gives it to us. Yes. Not as we want to. We can't be wishy-washy and live in any old kind of way. No, sir. There's a certain way that we must live the word. Yes. And that's exactly, exactly. as it says. Yes. As it is. Yes, sir. As it is. Yes. Yeah. You might call it sin a little sin. Well, oh, there ain't no such God. thing as a little sin. All sin is capable of carrying us to that burning hell. Yes, it will. See. So, get it in our mind that we got to live line by line and precept upon precept in this word, in the Torah. Because we don't, we'll be what destroyed. That's the word. That's a promise. Yes. That's that promise. Oh. That's how come it's so important that we get into the Torah, that we study Torah, that we read Torah, that, you know, we, we have Bible studies in our home. We tell you, and always carry your Bible. Don't just listen to what a man tells you uh, 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 about the word. Research it, study it, see if that's what is being said. You know, I'm not insulted if you don't believe what I say, but understand what Torah says. Go by what Torah, read it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Ask Yehusha to give you understanding of the word. Amen. He's going to come and give you understanding. If we ask him, he's going to give us understanding. Yes, he will. Because he does not want us to, what, to die in sin. He does not want us to die in iniquity. Yeah, you know, he loves us. Yes, he does. He, he didn't get up on that torture stick for nothing. No, no. He didn't get up on, on that torture stick for all of us to go to hell, to that burning hell. For no one to go but See. Yeah, our choice. But we won't. You had to choose to go to hell. Mm -hmm. That's your choice. He's not going to force anybody to come into the Shamarian and to his kingdom. No, no. He's not going to force us. No. That's a choice. We have to choose to go into the kingdom. If we choose to go into the kingdom, then we must abide by the kingdom rules. Yes. And by the rules of the Husha mm -hmm. We got to live by this rule. In other words, we got to live by what Torah says. Amen. And we're going to make it into the kingdom. You don't want to do that. You're not going to make it into the kingdom. He says, yea, number 24, mm -hmm. yea, and all the prophets from Shemuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. So all the prophets have been speaking of these days that are about to come. Mm -hmm. These last days, these last days that Yeshua is coming back, he's going to return. They spoke of these things. And so we will find excuses if we're not ready. But we need to go ahead on and make sure that we're studying the Word, getting into the Word, and living the Word according as the Word is said. 
I don't care if you can be a Baptist, Methodist, you're not coming back for Baptist or Methodist. It's not even coming back for Yasha, Yashbri, uh, uh, Homicide community. Mm-mm. It's not coming back for the Catholics. But it's coming back for people that are being obedient to Torah. Amen. It's not coming back for the blacks. It's not coming back for the white. It's coming back for a people that are being obedient to Torah. That's living Torah. Exactly. We got to live Torah. Hallelujah. We got to be Torah people. Hallelujah. Thank you. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which Elohim made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in your seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be Baruch. Baruch means be what? Be blessed. blessed. Unto you first, Elohim. Having raised up his son, Yahushua, sent him to Baruch you and turn away every one of you from his iniquities. See, every one of us got to turn away from our iniquities. We got to turn away from our sins and from our wicked ways. Yes. You know, because there's no iniquity, gonna, no sin going to make it into the kingdom. No. None whatsoever. If you want to truly have your heart set on making it a kingdom, you have to give up your ways, you have to give up sin, you have to give up evil, you mm-hmm. have to give up all wickedness, you have to be purified, allowing the blood of Yahushua HaMaseh to what purify us, to cleanse us, to purge us. We got to be purged, people. Yeah. Every last one of us that want to make it into the kingdom got to be purged. Yeah. I don't care if you got the gift of preaching, teaching, Singing, whatever not. If you are not purged, if you have not been purged of your sins, you won't make it in. The gifts are not going to make it in. You have to do the work. You have to do the work. We thank you. This has been Yasha Hashari. I'm going to say community. We thank you. And we give the praise. In your name, we do say Amen. 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 Thank you.